Now we know that colligative properties can be used to determine molar masses and vice versa. We can use the molar masses to predict what the colligative properties of a particular solution will be. Here we have an example of a protein of a rather large molar mass. We have its solution and we're asked to determine the freezing point depression and the osmotic pressure and then discuss how these might be useful in the laboratory in determining protein molar masses. So, for water, the freezing point depression constant is 1.86 degrees C over the molality. The molality of this solution is the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of solvent equals 4.3 milligrams, that is 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3 grams, divided by 1.1 times 10 to the fourth grams per mole. That's the number of moles of solute. This whole thing being divided by the kilograms of solvent. 1.00 ml of water times 1.00 grams per ml of water. That's the density of water, a well-known quantity, divided by 10 cubed grams per kilogram. And that comes out to be equal to 3.9 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per kilogram. So delta Tf, the freezing point depression, equals Kf times the molality, equals 1.86 degrees C per m times 3.9 times 10 to the negative 4 m equals 7.3 times 10 to the negative 4 degrees C. I think you'll agree with me that this is a very small freezing point depression, about one thousandth of a degree, a milli degree, something that will be challenging to measure. We'll comment further on that in a moment. What about the osmotic pressure pi? Pi equals N RT divided by V, just like the ideal gas formula. The number of moles we've already worked out, it's 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3 grams divided by 1.1 times 10 to the fourth grams per mole. R is the familiar gas constant. Zero point zero eight two one liter atmospheres per mole. Okay. Times the temperature, which is two nine eight K. Divided by the volume, that's 1.00 milliliters. And to convert that to liters, we will multiply by 10 cubed milliliters per liter. And in order to um, make that a more useful quantity, that calculates as 9.56 times 10 
to the negative 3 atmospheres, let's convert that to tor. After all, tor is what we can measure easily in the laboratory, millimeters of mercury in a manometer, and that equals 7.3 tor. Interesting coincidence. So, very hard to measure. easy to measure. Our conclusion is that for molecules of large molar mass, Osmotic pressure is a preferred way of determining it.